Hi, everyone. We're looking at question 10E on page 281. The question says James is running around a circular track with a circumference of one kilometer at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour. His velocity vector is represented by a vector tangent to the circle. Velocity vectors are drawn at points A and C as shown. As James changes his position on the track, his velocity vector changes. In running his first lap, there's a point at which James is traveling in a north-easterly direction. If he starts at point A, how long would it have taken him to get to this point? So the first step is to understand that north-easterly means you're pointing this way, right? So again, if we think about the four different directions, that's north, east, west, and south. So in this diagram, the only way this is possible is by looking at this point right here. So the first step you can take is go back, figure out how long it takes for one lap. So for one lap, the time it takes depends on the distance divided by the speed. And in the question, it tells you that the circumference of this circle is one kilometer. Right, so again, let's go back. One kilometer is the circumference, and that's how we know. Now, likewise, if you read the uh, constant speed, it is 15 kilometers per hour. So the velocity, or the magnitude of the velocity, is 15 kilometers per hour. So 15 kilometers per hour. And if you work this out, that's 1 over 15th of an hour. Now, don't forget. One hour equals to 60 minutes. And again, hopefully I think you have this in your mind as you're solving it. This implies that 1 over 15th of an hour is 1 over 15th times 60 minutes, which means for one lap, it's going to take four minutes. But since you're looking at this point, you can divide this into eight different pieces, meaning you can draw two additional lines that looks like that, and then two additional lines which was given to you. So this really covers seven of eight of a lap. So since you know it takes four minutes for one lap, this means four, seven over eight of a lap. This equals to 7 over 8 times 4 minutes. And of course, at this point, you can take the calculator, you can do some mental math, but 4 divided by 8 is going to give you 1 over 2, and 7 divided by 2 is going to be 3.5, so 3.5 minutes. I hope this makes sense.